This is the drone used for the demonstration. Called as Sable 20, it is an unmanned drone capable of carrying goods up to 20 kilograms. Today, it is loaded with this bag of rice. Operated by a remote controller, it flies to Pajuding Monastery. The 10-minute flight is captured by another drone. Upon reaching Pajuding, the delivery was received with the traditional prayer ceremony by the monastery slum. This symbolic gesture is described as convergence of innovation and spirituality. This initiative is led by the Druk Holding and Investments. Endure Air, a private Indian drone technology company, is providing the technical expertise. The thing that we did today and deliver a rice back to a monastery, it actually, actually takes like three hours, but we did it in like 10 minutes and then we came back as well. This flight, the cost came much. After conducting the test flight at around the end of May and area inspections being done, the team left back. Then we planned for the demonstration. During the phase, we identified two bases for the demo flight. So through rigorous planning, we were able to do the demo flight from Sangegan to Pajudin today. The project aligns with the government's efforts to overcome geographical and infrastructural challenges in transportation using advanced technology. We are trying to explore other areas to use logistic drones in delivering medicines, for carrying construction materials and conducting power line inspections. These are our tentative plans. We also have other drones as well that can also carry up to 70 kgs. This drone can also act like a firefighting drone where a nozzle can be attached to it and it can tether in the air and it can spray through the fire hazards. On top of that, uh, emergency medicinal supplies those can also be carried out. Officials now aim to develop a system to operate delivery drones in Bhutan. This is expected to improve critical service delivery and position Bhutan as a hub for emerging technology adoption. Kezong Chopil, BBS News.